Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith and in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at the new leather edition of the ESV diadem from Cambridge Bibles. And while we're at it, we're going to be doing a comparison with a bunch of other Bibles. Okay, so I recently got this red calfskin leather edition of the ESV Diadem from Cambridge Bibles Inn. I did a fun unboxing video with it, and I was really pleasantly surprised by this Bible. I don't know why I was surprised at all, because Cambridge Bibles are always really great, but this, this Bible really made an impression on me, and so I wanted to do a review and take a closer look, but I also wanted to do a comparison. My idea started to do a comparison with this, the hardcover edition. So, let's step back for a minute. A few months ago, Cambridge released the first ever ESV diadem. It's the debut of the diadem typesetting, and it was a hardcover edition. They had a a hardcover in regular and with the Apocrypha. I did an unboxing video, I did a full review, I'll put the links to those in the description of this video. But now they're back with leather editions. So the diadem is this little guy right here, the Pittman, it's an expanded version of the Pittman, a larger version, but it's a smaller version, this Bible at the bottom is their wide margin, it's smaller. So it's a middle size for the Pittman and the wide margin, you get the diadem. So first hardcover, now a few months later they've expanded the line to include some calfskin leather editions as well as some calf split leather editions. So I wanted to do a, re a review so you could see this Bible and get a closer look at it because it is slightly different than the hardcover edition. I actually connected with the folks at Cambridge and, and got some info about the differences between the two. So as I was getting that info for the review I thought well I need to do a comparison with the hardcover edition and I was like well I probably should show it with the pit minion and the wide margin. And because I mentioned that it reminded me of the Allen 52, I should bring one of those along. And because there's a calf split edition, I should bring one of those. So anyway, I got a big stack of Bibles here. I'm going to do an overhead. I'm going to show you this Bible. And then I'm going to do some comparisons with the other Bibles that I think it'll be good for you to see them next to. That's the plan here for this video. Before we dive in, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. This is the ESV Diadem in Leather from Cambridge Bibles. Okay, first things first, here's the ESV diadem box. You see I have the edition with the Apocrypha in red calfskin leather. Nice clamshell box from Cambridge. All of the information on the back of the box there. And there's the Bible itself. So really, really lovely, smooth calfskin. It's very soft and floppy. It has a matching perimeter stitch all the way around the outside. It says Holy Bible in gold. On the spine, you have some gently raised spine hubs. Holy Bible, English Standard Version, Apocrypha, Cambridge. There are versions with and without the Apocrypha on the back, very, very clean. This edition comes with three red ribbons, quarter inch thick, double-sided. They look nice. Black synthetic liner, you see it says calfskin leather cover. There's corner work there. Edge lined construction on the back. Red under gold art gilding. It just feels very soft and floppy in hand. Now before I go to the comparisons I'll just get you on the inside of this box. So on the outside really really soft and smooth. Very nice. It's not too big. The size is going to be five and three quarter inches wide nine and an eighth inches tall and it's this one is like about just under an inch and a half thick i'm going to talk more about the size in a moment on the inside we've got presentation page family records kind of matching i, I noticed that i got one this is kind of just a quirky little thing the page got folded before they cut the page this page is actually slightly longer than the other pages but it's got a little bit of a a fold, a crease in there. I didn't see that in the unboxing video. But title page. Here we get into the copyright page, so you'll see all the information there. And then you know at the bottom, Papeteries du Le Mans. It's French paper printed and bound in Royal Young by Royal Youngblood in the Netherlands. And then you see typeset 8.2 lexicon number one typeface. I'll come back to the, that again when I do the comparison video. So table of contents. This is a 33 GSM 
Prima Bible paper. It has a nice kind of sheen to it. You can feel that under your fingertips. And it's very opaque. When I get into here, you got your little intro, the chronology of rulers, tables of weights and measures, and then you get into the Old Testament. So there's the text on the page, two column, paragraph format, cross-references in the center column, textual footnotes at the bottom of the right column on both pages. So pull this up here for you. Again, 8.2 typeface. Looks really nice. Very easy to read. Lexicon is designed to be easy to read at smaller typefaces. And that's really the way the Bible looks when you get into the books of poetry. You do get, do get a poetic typesetting. And then this one, unlike the, the hardcover, which I'm going to compare this to in a moment, there's the Apocrypha, same setting. It has red letter in the New Testament. At the back of the Bible, we get Concordance. English Standard Concordance with gaps at the top and the bottom, so margins at the top and the bottom there. And then you get your Cambridge Bible Maps. Here's the title page. Full set of Cambridge Bible Maps. Slightly glossy, thicker paper. These look really nice. So that's the, the, the quick run through of the diadem. I've already done that with the hardcover edition. Before we, we do the side by side with the hardcover, I want to bring in a couple of random little Bibles. So this is the KJV Topaz in calf split leather. So this is going to be more like what you'd get in the calf split versions of the diadem. A slightly really nice pebbly grain on there. It is a paste down construction on their calf split Bibles. So it's a slightly firmer, more rigid feel. It's got a few different touches. But this is kind of what the, so there you see, super smooth, and then because of the edge lined, very, very floppy goat skin versus something a little bit more firm. So if you're looking for a diadem that kind of splits the difference between the hardcover edition and the calfskin leather edition, you can check out the calf split editions. I'm also going to bring in, for those of you who know the Allen 52, this is uh, 52, 62, they do a lot. They now do a, an ESV and they some different Bibles in calfskin leather. So this is a 52 KJV long primer, really beautiful, smooth calfskin. And then you see it's very, very similar. So those of you who are familiar with the 52s or the calfskin leather Bibles from Allen, this is going to have a similar feel. The Allens have a slightly thicker leather liner on the inside versus this synthetic liner on the Cambridge, but the, the actual leather itself feels fairly similar. Okay, now I'm going to bring in the hardcover edition. So I noted in the, the unboxing video that it looked a little bit bigger. That's just because of the, the extra leather around the outside. These are actually the same exact uh, size text block. If I spin this one around, you can see, but you can, I don't know if you can tell, I can't hear it. This one is a little bit thinner. That's because this one has the 33 GSM Prima Bible paper. So the hardcover edition, get a look at that real quick. So you can see on the side here, it's a little bit thinner, right? So they had talked about going, they told me at Cambridge, they talked about going 28 GSM, which is kind of the 28 GSM French Prima Bible paper is kind of the standard Bible paper that a lot of Bible publishers are using these days. But they thought it was going to leave the Bible too thin if they went from 36, by the way, it's 36, it's not the Prima Bible paper, but it's 36 GSM paper in the hardcover. So it's 33 on this one. And you can tell a difference when I open this up you can see, I think that this is going to show up on the camera. The the 36 GSM is a little bit on the hardcover, a little bit starker white. It's a, it's a little bit brighter white. This is a little bit creamier, and then you can really feel it. This paper, this the, the Prima Bible paper has this like sheen, I think is what I used earlier. You can almost feel like the silkiness to the paper, whereas this has a little bit more of a coarse feel. And I think you can tell slightly more opaque on 36 GSM, but this is very opaque. Paper. So the difference is you're getting art gilding on the pages, you're getting a slightly different paper, you're getting rounded corners, obviously the leather binding. This one right here was printed by a company called Print Corp in Belarus, the 36 GSM paper, and in the New Testament, the hard covers are all black letter. If I get into the Gospels, you can see that. So here we have printed and bound by Royal Youngblood in the Netherlands on the French Prima Bible paper that's 33 GSM, and then in the New Testament, you get red letter. So it's a slightly different specs on these two Bibles. So let me see if I can show you this in here. There you go. 
Everything else, I mean, the type setting is going to be the same, the page layout, everything's going to be the same between the hardcover and this. It's just really what you're paying for, the big difference in price on these is going to be the leather, the binding, the premium construction, all of that. It's really taking it to the next level. But this is, I said this earlier in my review of this Bible, it's a great Bible for the money. I think these Bibles are $30 or $40 online where you're going to spend over $200 for one of the premium leather ones. So again, slightly thinner. That's one of the things I noticed the most. If this is a bit too thick. Now, this also has the Apocrypha in it. So the, the versions without the Apocrypha are going to be even thinner than this. And then really the feel of that paper is going to be your second big difference. A little bit brighter white and a, a coarser feel versus that smooth, sheeny feel. And then obviously the, the, the leather ones only come in red leather at the moment. But both of these are uh, five and three quarters inches wide eight and a quarter inches tall, the 8.2 type size, that's all the same. Okay, so that's the comparison with the hardcover edition. Now I wanna bring in the Pit Minion and the wide margin. So over here you have the Pit Minion, the little guy, and then you have the wide margin. This is the only copy of the wide margin that I currently have in the house. So this is the new NIV Insight wide margin. This is an NIV Pit Minion. So this is kind of the flagship, one of the flagship Bibles from Cambridge. You see it's the same design on the inside, Two column text block, center column cross references, footnotes on the bottom right side of the page. You're just going from here, you're going, this is a four and a half by six and seven eighths text block and a 6.75 type to a five and a quarter. So this is a, an inch and a quarter wider and it's about that. This one is six and seven eighths. This is eight and a quarter tall. So it's about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half bigger all the way around and you get an 8.2 typeface on the diadem versus a 6.75 typeface on the Pit Minion. This is the coolest thing about this is if you're a Pit Minion fan and it's the Bible that you want on the go and things like that, and it's getting a little small for you, this Bible is really, really nice to get a slightly larger, better, bigger version of the Pit Minion. And then you compare it to the wide margin, you're gonna notice the wide margin actually has a smaller typeface then the diadem, this is a 7.9 font on typeface, all lexicon, same thing, on the wide margin versus 8.2. So essentially what they did was they trimmed the wide margins off of this and they were able to expand it just a little bit. So you have five and three quarters versus seven and a quarter. So this is an inch and a half bigger this way. And you get uh, eight and a quarter versus nine and an eight, so almost an inch bigger that way. So really you're going an inch and a quarter, inch and a half bigger every time you go up. Um, and that's really the big difference between these three is the, the overall shape. And you get an 8.2, so 6.75 typeface, 8.2 typeface, and then 7.9 typeface. And again, what's cool about this is if you had they only have the diadem in an ESV. I'm sure they're going to release it in more. If you had the ESV in all of these, I'm on page 725 of the diadem. If you turn to 725 in all these Bibles, they'd be identical. It's kind of like what Skylar has done with their Quintel series. You have the PSQ, the Quintel, the wide margin. Now you have this with this series of Bibles from Cambridge where you can have one to be on your Go Bible, one to be your everyday Bible, one to be your deeper study Bible. You're going to write notes, that sort of thing. I like that Bible publishers are doing that sort of thing for us, just giving us different options. But overall, I'm, I'm very impressed with the uh, the leather edition of the ESV diadem. And I know that Cambridge is going to be expanding this line to the NASB uh, later this year. Great Bible, uh, really, really beautiful job. And it's cool to see how it compares to some other things. So there you have it, the leather ESV diadem from Cambridge Bibles. They did a great job with this, and it's fun to see how it compares to some other Bibles that are in the same world as this Bible. I would love to know what you think, so leave a comment and let me know. As always, if you have questions about this Bible, drop those in the comments as well, and I will get back to you. If you're sold and you say, hey, this is the Bible for me, I want one of these, I'll put some links in the description of this video so you can find it. I'm also going to put links in the description to Instagram and Facebook. We've got a great community for Bible Review Blog on social media. I'm doing some giveaways over there as well, so definitely check out those pages. Follow along. And before you go, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot of great Bible videos, reviews like this, comparison videos, unboxing videos. My goal is to help you find a Bible that's right for you. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.